going to show a brief video here on the MedX Avenger Row to highlight why it's different than your typical plate loaded equipment. It has three main axes for which we can have a linkage or lever system. I've highlighted them in the pictures. The changes in resistance through the range of motion at each axis will carry over to the next axis. The primary axis to look at for change in resistance is likely axis 2, where you will see the resistance drop considerably relative to the effort. If you understand moment arms, you can look for the changes in moment of effort and resistance at each axis through the range of motion, and or you can look at force angles. This is a concept that I learned at the resistance training specialist program over 10 years ago and is seldom obvious when looking at equipment design. The change in resistance through the range of motion is one of many things you'd want to consider when purchasing equipment. There are numerous other things to consider as well, however.